Hi, this is Coach Rudy, and um, good morning. It's on a Saturday, and I'm giving you an update. Uh, also, uh, more like talking to you about this new product that I'm using called Raspberry Ketones. Let me see if I can get it where you can see it. Okay. And the other day I weighed myself, and <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I think it was at 190 and I've been using um, I got through with the other supplements and they said that uh, so I'd start taking these afterwards and it has raspberry ketone in it 600 milligrams uh, green coffee tea bean extract 200 milligrams and supply it says it applies 45% Clogenic acids. Okay. You're supposed to take two easy to swallow tablets two times daily, 30 to 60 minutes before your two largest meals. All right. I've been busy at work. I hadn't had to figure out what my two largest meals was. Let me show what these tablets look like and why they're so hard to swallow. That means you have to sit there and time yourself. It's kind of big. So you got to sit there and time yourself on these tablets 30 to 60 minutes before you eat and then take them. And these are from Purely Inspired. I got this from Walmart. And I think it was like 8 or $9 and 88 cents or something like that. All right. And then... Um, after I start taking it, my lips started to quiver a little bit, like, you know, little nerve ribs in there. So I was like, what the? So I was wondering, what's that? So this is like one of the side effects of this on me. So what I realized is that I thought about it. I said, why would my lips quiver after taking this? Caffeine, coffee. See, I don't drink coffee well. I used to drink coffee, and I, one time I drank Blue Mountain coffee, and it had caffeine, and it was so strong. I was working that late night shift, and guess what? The caffeine really had me jittery. I'm already hyper, so to add more caffeine to it is bad. And so that was heart palpitations and stuff like that, and I'm already hyper enough. So I'm thinking, okay, and so these have green coffee in it so I never knew what green coffee could do to me and now I see it's got the lip thing you know with the nerve situation and possibly a, me a little anxious or something because of the caffeine in it because of the natural caffeine from the coffee so eh, this may not be the best for me to take and if you have problems with your heart I don't think that's the best for you to take for is a green coffee bean one but um, if you have problems with coffee and caffeine, but that's what I want to tell you. And then I had weighed myself before that, and I was like 190. Okay, so I didn't really see myself going past that yet, so I'm waiting. And this morning I did a stretch, so um, I did my um, a little tai chi kind of thing because I needed to stretch. It's been a minute. Anyway, that's the update on this and. I got about almost the end of it. It's been taken, you know, so I don't have that much left. It's probably by right there. So if you do one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's one fourth left, and I'm I'm determined to go ahead and try to finish these out. And if anything happens, I'll let you know. All right, have a great day, and hopefully things change. But this morning. I'm going to do a detox, so I'm going to do a Michael Magnesium detox, or citrus something detox to cleanse this out, or a cod liver detox, but I'm going to do some kind of detox to cleanse out my system. Maybe that will help the sluggishness of my metabolism, and plus my job is different now, and when you don't have a, your job's different, you have a sedentary life, you know, for as you're sitting all the time. On well, my job, I get up and I can go and push on a wheelchair or something and walk on the track. But with the rain and the mosquitoes, the pollen was strong. But I, I've done it recently, like this past week. 
I walked the track, but it was hot out there. I was like, darn. So I had to find some shade. And I had to find other ways to exercise. And I was just, so once your sedentary life of your job, sometimes you got to find creative ways to exercise, like maybe climb the stairs or something. The wheelchair couldn't go up the stairs. So wherever I go, I have to take my patient with me, you know, for his wheelchair go. So I would just probably have to go on flat surfaces and just circle her around. Uh, the other thing is, um, I take online classes now. And so I'm always like sitting and like either on this couch, <sighs> dealing with stress of everything else, or either going to the library, sitting on my bum bum. So I, I, you know, I'm mostly doing the typing and all that. So I'm thinking I have to structure my time more better, and then I can get everything situated, and then I'll be able to have some time in here, schedule some time for exercise, some this and that and the other. It's because I got the yoga of a yoga I still got to do, and the tai chi already done. <sighs> All right, that's enough said. So this is Coach Rudy, and I'll talk to you later. And I hope this helped you with your supplement, at least information about the caffeine and if you have problems with your heart and all that stuff, so on and so forth. This nurse is signing out. Talk to you later. Bye. Take care of yourself.